Hey guys, it's your girl ZJ back with some more Nancy Drew and the Deadly Device. So, we just finished beating Mason score in aggregation. See my score's right up there. And, you know, I could keep going and um, seeing how high I can get and maybe seeing if there's any, I don't know, Easter eggs or anything. But, um, I'm going to go ahead and call it quits. I fulfilled my object objective, so I'm going to go ahead and, uh, go back and let Ellie know that we went oh, going, I'm not going back, I'm going to the wrong way, but while we're here the life and times of Nikola Tesla let's see wireless transfer of, of energy Nikola Tesla was a genius, visionary, and inventor um, information in here, uh, is going to be helpful, I'm sure. So, it says here he died alone. And, you know, I'm not too surprised. I mean, if he really was, you know, super, you know, um, anti-social-ish, you know, I, I mean, even though he was a friend, he had a, Mark Twain was his buddy. Uh, he seems to be one of those geniuses that, you know, just don't need people. So. Edison. Serbian parents. Born July 10th, 1856. And Smiljan. Austro-Hungarian in Croatia. 700 patents. Cool. Alright, well, let's go tell Ellie that we beat the score. Hold up. Back up. Oh, okay. <laughs> I didn't know that was a jacket. It creeped me out. I thought it was like something else. Going up. I love elevators in the Nancy Drew game. I don't know why. It's just so fun. Oh, the wrong way. Actually, back here, I think, is, um... Actually, I don't remember. Hey, Ellie. Oh, got a text message. Net, I went to your house, but then I remembered that you were in Colorado. <laughs> Laughing out loud. What a nerd. It's LOL, Nettie. Oh, well, that's, that sucks. Yeah, voice recognition... It is not, yeah. You shouldn't be using the phone. Hello. I beat I Mason. I beat Mason's high score. You did good, kid. This is me looking the other way. It's a limited time offer. Sweet. Goodbye. Bye. Time to go snooping. Oh, yuck. <laughs> wow. Lots of stuff. Okay, this looks familiar, though. Voltage equals initial rate or something. I don't know. I feel like I've seen this before. Or is that velocity? No, velocity is V with a, the line above. I forgot the actual technical name for it, but... Ohm's Law. V equals IR. Something like that. Hmm. Series or parallel? Yeah, and we got Hangman. Oh, yep, yeah, this is these orange letters. Yeah, that all goes in here. I can't type though. So, by the way, if you play this, this is not like I can just. Can I? Yeah, no. You can't just type it in here. And Nancy's not saying anything. So, lame. I guess I have to just figure it out and write it down. 
So we got E, A, O, N, E, A, E, O, N, N, O, L, W, T, S, S, T, H. All right. So, something with apostrophe, something, apostrophe, okay, so, hmm, um, well, let's just make an easy guess and see if it's something like T-E-S, no, T-E-S-L-A. Tesla. No, it's not. Te <laughs> I was thinking Tesla coil. Dur -dur. So I can only use these letters. So, well, I think this might be Tesla. Tesla double. Do I have another S? Though, so, I don't think I have. Yeah. Oh yeah, I do. Okay, so it's Teslas. 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 Um. Mm, T O Tessa's Mott no two no T O Um hold on you guys I need to figure this out. Okay It is Tesla's hometown. That's what it is. Just get the vowels in there. Um, the O's. I started with the O's because, you know, it's really hard, but just... Anyway, that's what it is. <laughs> and, um, yeah. So we got Tesla's hometown. And I can't fill it in, so I just wrote it down. And hopefully, I'll figure out what to do with it later. Cool. <laughs> and you get to mess up his stuff. Oh, I'm going to write that down. 1, 5, 3, 47, 21, 25. Hopefully, that's the password to his computer. Actually, no, that's stupid. Mason doesn't seem... I mean, seeing how we get to mess around with this stuff, he seems like he's very, uh, organized and not stupid to leave his stuff out. Biometrics, an introduction. Biometrics is a security method that uses t unique personal physical traits to act as keys or passwords. Iris and retina scans, uh, of course, we've all seen that, and, you know, the super high-tech secret, you know, laboratory stuff from like Dexter's lab cartoons. Voice recognition, facial shapes, and fingerprints are commonly used for biometric indicators. I'd love to have some sort of security system based off of biometrics in my bedroom, in my house, everywhere, because I'm crazy like that. If match is found, the lock is released. Oh, it teaches you how to fake this crap. So, it can be bypassed using a copy of a fingerprint registered in the database. So, if you cut someone's finger off or you, you know, knock someone out and take their finger, it, it works. So, the stuff in the movie is the, the stuff in the movies are pretty much uh, true for the most part. To make a finger, you'll need to create an etching of a fingerprint using some sort of mold. Some sort of silica, I'm guessing, or... Oh, gelatin, okay. Smells so prepared. Gelatin can be melted down and poured over the mold. She gelatin for cooking. And gummy candies are two commonly available sources. Gummy candies, yeah, that sounds logical. The resulting gummy fingerprint will fool many fingerprint scanners. Why does Mason have this. Anything else? Alright. One, five, three, 
No, that's not his password. I just know it. Okay, uh, Tessa's hometown. <laughs> what was Tessa's hometown? Croatia? No, that's that's not his hometown. Um, what was he? Croatia? Croatia something Serbia? No, that's not right. Small Smil Smilgen. Smiljan. Yay! It's Smiljan. Alright. Components. This is okay. This lets us create, um, print 3D designs. Pretty awesome. We're gonna need to do that later. Capacitors. Adjustment. Okay, so these are files created by Mason. And, yeah. This is all so cool. I'm sorry. Let's move on. Um, okay. Whoa. Ryan should never have been released. Better follow up on this. Oh yeah. Let's um let's note that down. Okay. Um two three five eight seven one one two video H double L W five one oh two five seven. Why is that in the trash bin? Cool. Let's play a game. Oh, we gotta match him. Yay. Okay. I obviously suck. I can do better at the timing. Oh. Yatta! I did it. Alright, that's all fun. Anything on the desk? I can... Uh, nope. Nothing? Nothing else? Nothing else. Nothing over here. Nothing in here. Alright, um... Let's go this way this time. Nothing down here. So, let's go back and um go to the next night next day I mean and meet the rest of the staff So I still need a code for that. Did I check here? Hmm. Yeah. Nancy 
Lucy Drew. Hi, hey. Deirdre. Are you in Colorado by any chance? Yes. How did you know? Some friend of my dad's called me for a reference for you. And you gave him a good reference? Well, I told him the truth. That was very nice of you. Was it? By the way, don't make a habit of it. Okay? Bye. Wait, hang on a sec. I might need some outside help with this case. <sighs> Did you forget that I don't like you? No, but I know you're studying criminology and maybe someday I could help you out. Oh, a non-specific promise with the word someday. Sounds too tempting to ignore. Yet, here I go. Oh, she's mean. Oh, yes, sunlight. And what the heck is that? Looks like a robotic arm on the table there. Oh, it's nice to be able to see. Actually, I wonder... Yeah, I can't go that way because it's nighttime. I mean, it's daytime. And, um, gray does not work in the day. This facility looks really nice, you know? Oh, cute! There's some weird thingy there. Okay. Let's go say hi. Can we see? What are you doing? Uh oh. Nathan Pier, yay! If it looks like I'm busy, that means I'm busy. What are you working on? It's immensely complicated. Get a postgrad in advanced math and electrical engineering, then I'll explain it to you. Uh huh. Put it in layman's terms. Fine. There's this shiny magic that lives in the power lines, and it's dangerous and sly like a fox. And I'm using math to trick it into leaving the power lines. Without accidentally making everyone die. That sounds like you're working on the wireless transmission of electricity to me. If you want to put too fine a point on it, go ahead, stranger. Which brings me to my next point. Who am I? Who am I? Please let the answer be something that justifies me kicking you out of my workspace. I'm here on behalf of a new potential owner. Wrong. No, that's correct. No, I mean wrong answer for me. Not the answer I wanted to hear. Hmm. He reminds me of my boyfriend. Except he's... Mm, well, I better be careful my choice of words. But not just my boyfriend, my boyfriend and all of his friends. Which are, you know, the ones that I know are my friends too. But, you know. <laughs> not to put them in a category, but, you know, nerds. Okay. Do you know why Ryan would want to hurt Nico? The police already asked the same thing. Well, what did you tell them? I said if I were to have killed Nico, it'd be because he stole my work. Ouch. Whoa, hold on. It's just a for instance. I guess. Is it? Yes. That's because I think logically. I force myself to think from A to B to C, and so on. Ryan is all over the place. For her, it's A to zucchini, to that thing from TV, to maybe C, then on to some non sequitur. I don't trust anyone I can't explain. <laughs> I have to say ditto. Did you see? I beat your high score. Yes. If fighting is sure to result in victory, then you must fight. Sun Tzu compels me to take you down. Prepare yourself, opponent. He's not that scary and mean and super analytical and antisocial. Did you work directly with Nico? No one worked with Nico. We barely spoke to each other. That's the way he liked it. He practically lived in the lab. If he wanted to look at my work, he'd just root around in my hard drive. Hmm. So he'd come in here when you were gone? No, he'd use the network. He'd just snoop in your files? That seems kind of annoying. Not kind of. Entirely. 
It's unethical, and it allowed him to steal. Okay, well, we just did something seriously unethical by uh, figuring out your password and getting access to your computer and snooping into it, <sighs> all for the price of being your high score. So, huh. sorry. You mentioned Nico stealing your work. Can you prove that? No. You must be pretty upset about that. Say what you really want to say. Did the police know your feelings about Nico? What a peculiar question. Do you have a peculiar answer? I do, in fact, have a peculiar answer. I actually told the police the truth. A more interesting question is how is Ryan still a free woman? Why shouldn't she be? In this case, the smoking gun is a miswired Tesla coil that she built. That is true. Did you dislike Nico? Very much so. Would you go as far as to say you hated Nico? I would go that far and further. That guy was a jerk. That seems a little disrespectful, considering... Does it? Am I supposed to pretend he's great now that he's dead? Lots of jerks have died, and he's one of them. He's a dead, brilliant, jerk madman. The world would be much better off if he'd lived to share more of his intellect. But I selfishly am glad I'll never have to deal with him again. Hmm. Well, he is very honest. What do you remember about the day Nico died? More than I care to. I imagine. Did anything stick out? Yes, the police. It was weird. One of us killed Nico, and here they were, talking about a basketball game, like it was any other day. Hmm. What else do you remember? I remember Ryan. They took her out in cuffs. She came back the next day. Never said a word about what happened. It seems strange to me that you could be so blasé about a murder. I deal with things on my own time. But if you are desperate to watch someone cry, Ellie's always available. <laughs> what do you think of Ellie? She hates me so much that she switched to the night shift. Come to think of it, she hates me so much I should actually feel a sense of accomplishment. Which I now do. There it is. What did you do that she dislikes you so much? Why do you assume it was me? Uh... I took an educated guess. I did too. Still couldn't figure it out. But the fact remains, we are not besties, as she likes to say. We are worsties. <laughs> I'm gonna use that in the future, like... Hey, you know, just uh, for the record, we are worsties. <laughs> What's so special about Tesla? If you have to ask that, you haven't done your research. I mean, to you, what brought you here? The work. I turned down Los Alamos in a tenure-track position to be here. Most people don't know this, but the majority of Tesla's work was confiscated by the FBI. Why? Could be he was designing weapons. Could be he had a breakthrough that threatened the energy magnates. Don't know. It's all been hidden. What matters is, there's a little bit still here. Mm. I always suspected Nico had some squirreled away, and I'd be able to find it. But either he didn't, or I couldn't. Oh gosh, he really is a nerd. It's not a bad thing, it's just a fact. Can you tell me a little bit about Gray? He always gives me an industrial-sized portion of the creeps. The only person who ever liked Gray was Nico. And I think he just liked keeping Gray around to scare everyone away from his work. Did he try to scare you away from Nico's work? No. He tried to scare me away from my own work. What does that mean? He was Nico's heavy. I figured he'd leave once the police gave the all clear. Trust me, if he's still here, he's up to something. Your boss would be smart to get rid of him. You said you were searching for Nico's work. Did you ever look in Nico's personal things? Of course I looked. <laughs> what was Nico working on before he died? There wasn't a name for it yet, officially. 
it was basically wireless energy transfer. That was helpful for you. So how about you tell me something about your boss? I'm sorry, I can't. Confidential. What are you doing? I want you to tell me what you know, but I can't tell if you're a pushover or not. Not. Ah, efficiency. One of the rare graces of a post manor society. <laughs> I better get going. See you later. What are you doing? <laughs> He's cool. Well, there we have it. Now we get to go meet our other friend. Oops. I think she's in here. Yes, Ryan. Ooh. Cool. Need. Got a keychain. Oops. Oh, <laughs> what the? I'm so sorry about that. Are we cool? Um, uh, yes. Okay. Good. I was really hoping you'd be the type not to freak out about something like that. Not that you shouldn't. It's reasonable to freak out after a near-death experience. Not that that was super uh, near-death, but you know, closer than what you get walking through most doors. It's okay. I'm fine. Good. I had a whole argument prepared about labs and the risks of working with machinery and the importance of forgiveness. Do you want me to hit all the bullet points? Mm. That's not necessary. <laughs> Are you sure? I practiced. No, I, I get it. I'm Ryan. <laughs> what do you do at the lab? I'm so sorry, but I have to ask why you're here. Why are you here? I'm Nancy Drew. I'm here to do due diligence for a potential new owner. I'm sorry. I'm an adult, and there's nothing funny about what you just do, said. Do, do. Whoa, wait. <laughs> Back to the information. We're getting a new owner? Maybe, but first I need to ask some intrusive questions. Oh. I know you've gotten enough of this, I really do, but it's my job. I've done worse things for my job. Like what? I build tools. They're not always used in a good way. I what see. do you mean by that? I couldn't tell you about it if I wanted to. Confidentiality. I'm guessing she's referring to, you know, stuff, uh, well, let's say, like, if she was a rocket scientist or some other scientist that deals with, like, you know, subatomic, uh, subparticles or nuclear type things or, you know, whatever, whatever you build is going to be used for something that's like, you know, war killing. But you know, whatever. A job's a job. Who do you think killed Nico? A little part of me thinks it's Gray. Why? I'm a little scared of him. Hmm. Any reason in particular? Oh, you know. His voice and general demeanor and his face and pretty much everything else about him. Those two had a strange relationship. They fought constantly, not sure why. The part that was responsible for Nico's death is missing. Do you know where it went? No. Are you sure? You sound like you're not telling me something. Yeah. I destroyed it. It's gone. Why destroy it? Because I made it! You know what? I need you to leave me alone right now. Go, please. Ah, okay. That was strange. Well, let's leave her alone. Okay. Colors. And... This could help getting into go. the lab. Sweet. Anything here? Nope. Hmm. Hmm. Tools. Can't take this. 
Security office. Do not remove. What the heck? It's got a letter, a gear, and it's pointing that way, and it's O. Uh, I guess I'm gonna have to remember that. Can't wait for you to come home. Oh, Nettie Poo. We missed you too. Oh, what's down here? Oh. Well, I think that's everything. Oh, I just feel like there's something over here, but... I guess not. Hmm. Weird. Alright. Nothing over here. Okay, you guys. I'm gonna end the video on that note. And, um, probably go and switch it back to night and see if I can, uh, go talk to Gray. So many pups in there. Figure out the security code, or not the security code, but, um, what was I gonna say? Get access to the lab. So, say goodnight, Gracie.